Hi guys, welcome to We Film Things. I'm Alishka, this is Jack, and we're here to bring travel and adventure into your everyday. This week, one of my friends, Frazona, came to visit all the way from the US. She stopped over in Manchester for a grand total of 32 hours, so I thought we would take her out on a hike and really make the best of that time. She does like hiking and the outdoors. I promise I didn't force her to do this, I don't think. So we headed over to the Peak District, which is super accessible from Manchester. Jack and I love doing these micro adventures out of whatever city that we're currently based in. We get serious withdrawal symptoms if we haven't traveled in a while. This way we can keep a little bit of a sense of adventure, even in an ordinary work week. This particular hike is up Kinder Scout, which is the highest peak in England's Peak District. I say peak, it's more of a plateau, and I say Peak District, but it's more of like, an area with a higher concentration of hills. England's pretty flat. We get excited about any level of elevation. But that said, it is bloody beautiful. By the way, all of the tips that are in this video are also gonna be set out in a corresponding blog post on our website, wefilmthings.com, which is now somewhat open for business, so do check it out. There'll be a link down in the description box. Now, you can do a longer hike up Kinder Scout. It's called the Mass Trespass Route. It's actually a route of significant historic importance. If you have a full day to do it and you fancy a bit of an adventure then absolutely go for it. I'll leave a link below to an article that like gives you a few more details but if like us you're trying to squeeze this into your work week and you only have a few hours to spare then here is the deal. So you start the hike from a little village called Edale. We drove over from Manchester, which is about an hour's drive. You can get there by train as well. It's pretty well connected from sort of Manchester, Sheffield, Nottingham. Basically, there's a train station you can get there. If you are going by car, make sure you take some change for the parking lot. I know, I know. What even is physical money, right? Once you've left your train or your car behind, you trot up through the village of Edale. actually have a now. Make sure you don't miss this little turn into the hedges which takes you through to Wonderland. We arrived at the car park at 3.40 and we got to the top at 5 o'clock. The top! That's an hour and 20 minutes to get to the top without really stopping. We spent about 15 to 20 minutes on the plateau at the top exploring a little bit and then we motored it straight down to the car park, getting there at about 10 past 6, so in another 15 minutes. That's a grand total of two and a half hours spent at Kinder Scout. Disclaimer, we didn't stop much because we knew that we needed to get back to Manchester for dinner, but hopefully this shows you that if you're in good health and good fitness, you can totally do the hike between two and a half to three hours. Last time Jack and I came, we actually only had enough change to park our car for two hours. So we got our speed walk on, we got to the top and back down to the car in two hours and 15 minutes. On the other hand, you can take your time. There are some very nice rocks at the top on the plateau. Like the mushroom rock. Okay. I think it has a real name. And you can gloat in your sense of achievement at having reached the top. You can extend your hike as much as you want, depending on how much time you have. Bearing in mind that it will take you about an hour to get back to the car. You do have to have a relatively good level of fitness if you want to do this hike, especially if you want to do it within the two and a half to three hour mark. You can of course take your time a little bit. I've definitely seen children and older people do it, but just bear in mind that there is an elevation of about 1200 feet within a very short distance. In layman speak, that just means you go up a very steep hill and that you will have to kind of scramble up some rocks. There isn't very much like hand action involved, but if you're not 100% comfortable with terrain, that's not completely smooth or paved then that's just something to bear in mind so I'd give it a 3.5 to 4 out of 5 for difficulty I'm leaning towards a 3.5 just because it is quite a short hike but there were definitely bits where Frizona and I were both out of breath especially if you're going fast it's kind of a workout definitely would recommend wearing hiking boots I am somebody who looks for two things in a hike. The first is good views because if I can't get a good insta out of this then literally what is even the point I joke, I joke, kind of. I just think if you're gonna put a lot of physical effort in, it's a lot easier if you have something nice to look at. 
And secondly, I like something that's a bit of a challenge. So in the Kinder Scout walk, there is a little bit of a scramble. Sometimes you need to like get over slightly bigger rocks or to cross a stream and hop from stone to stone. And it just spices things up a little bit, you know. I give this a fun factor of again, about three and a half to four out of five, leaning towards the four this time. Cause given how short the walk is and given that it's a there and back walk, you get quite a lot out of it. Anyway, Frizona and I had a really great time on the walk, even if we didn't have too much time to do it. But that's exactly the point. It's a great hike if you are time poor, you just wanna squeeze something in in the work week to make you feel a little bit alive, to get outdoors, then this is the thing for you. If you're interested in more details, like where to park and what to bring, then those are all in that post on our website that I mentioned, linked in the description below. If you live in London or somewhere further south and you're interested in day trips that are closer to you, then we do have a video on that as well. Hopefully that's up on the screen somewhere now. Let us know in the comments if you have any favorite hikes in the Peak District or local to where you live. We would love to check them out. Give this video a little like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and hopefully we will see you in the next one. Oh, bye.